One of the many super things about Maximizer is its ability to integrate with Microsoft Word and Outlook. Let's look at how easy it is to set up the Word integration. To begin with, I hover on Administration and click on Desktop and Mobile Setup. Because I am using Internet Explorer as my browser, I have access to downloading the Word integration. I click on this and follow the prompts. I accept the End User License Agreement and click Next. And then I click Install. When it's done, I click Finish. And that's all there is to it. Now I go back over to the address book, select a number of entries that I can use, and click on the Word icon, which opens up Microsoft Word and gives me access to the Maximizer ribbon. To create mailing labels for those half a dozen entries, I click on the Labels icon. Maximizer gives me this dialog box where I can make some choices about the text that goes into the labels, but more likely I'm going to customize the label start position. When I click Generate Mailing Labels, I'm given access to an awful lot of alternatives. I'll click Avery, US Letter, and I'll find the 5260. This is a useful label page for my purposes. It's got 30 labels on a page. It's typical for the various things that I need to do. And I'll click OK. Maximizer asks me what label position I'd like to start at, so I'll pick position 5 and click OK. And Maximizer proceeds to put the five entries into label position exactly as you see them there. Now because I'm working in a Word document, I can select all of them. I can bold these. I can play around with the font size until I find a size that I think is going to be the most that I can use. I'll go ahead and print the labels, and when I'm done, I will X out. Maximizer will ask me if I want to save this label format against the possibility I might want to send something else to that same group of people. For today's purposes, I'll click Don't Save. Creating envelopes is just as easy. I click on the envelope icon, and again I have the option to change the text for the first two lines of the address if I want to. I can also click here and put in my return address. Now most companies will probably have pre-printed envelopes, but if you don't, this is a very handy way to make sure that you have a return address on your envelope. I then click Generate Envelopes. Maximizer assumes I want to use a size 10 letter-sized envelope. There are of course other options if that's not what I want to do. The thing that's most important though is to click on Printing Options and tell Maximizer how I intend to feed the envelope into the printer. When I'm satisfied with my setup, I click OK. Maximizer then goes ahead and creates the envelopes for me. And you can see that the return address is in a smaller font size, correctly positioned, and the addresses themselves are correctly positioned on the envelope. I go ahead and print, and when I'm done, I X out. Finally, let's create a Word document. When I'm doing this, I like to click on Home and select this second spacing alternative. That's just a personal preference. I'm going to assume that I'm going to say Dear Somebody. I'm going to go back to my Maximizer ribbon. I'm going to click here to insert merge fields. I'll click the lower part since all I need here is the first name and perhaps the last name. And I will proceed to put in the text of my letter. And here I'm going to put in a user defined field. I'll click the merge field icon. I will highlight the field that I want to use. Make sure I have a check mark in this box next to link so that Maximizer knows I'm working on a template rather than a one off letter. I'll make sure my mouse is where it needs to be and I will click insert. I will move the merge field box slightly out of the way and I will continue typing. And I'm going to put another user defined field in here of our current promotion. Make sure I have that mouse in the right place and click insert. And just fix that little uh, puppy right there. Warm regards. And now I have a chance to not just put my own name in, but I can generalize this so anybody else in the office can use it. And I do that by changing from address book up here to user merge fields. I click first of all my first name. I click insert. I put the mouse there, put a space, put my last name, insert, mouse there, return, put my company, insert, put my mouse there, and click return, put my phone number, 
insert, mouse, and return, and so on and so forth until I've put in all the additional fields I want to. Now at the very top here, I'm going to put a little bit of extra spacing, put my mouse at the top, scroll down here to today's date, and click insert, and now I'm done. I close the insert merge field dialog box, and I go ahead over here to Maximizer, I click on Create New Template, and what the Maximizer really wants me to do is give this template a name. I will call it my Gold Star Invitation, and save it by clicking OK. Before I actually print any of the letters, I will ask Maximizer to preview this for me by clicking on Preview. Maximizer opens another Microsoft Word document, this time I can see it says October 17th, Dear Melanie Chen, you initially contacted us at the July Advanced Packaging Conference. We would like to invite you to take advantage of our Gold Star promotion. Warm regards, Lou Jones, etc. By clicking Next Entry or Previous, I can cycle through the whole list to make sure that I'm pleased with uh, the merge of every one of these entries. Then what I do is click on Save Merge Document so that I have a copy attached to each one of my entries. I click Send to Printer, Print Selected Entries, Maximizer advises me of how many will be printed. I will click Yes when I want to do that. For the purposes of our work today, I will simply click No. I will click out of this document for now. Over time, you will probably end up with quite a number of these Word templates. They are stored under Administration, Template Library, and Document Templates. If a template has outlived its usefulness, you can identify it and click Delete and say, yes, I would like to delete that one. You can download an existing template into Word, make changes to it, and then you can file and save it to a location that you can subsequently access by clicking Add. Find the template you are working with, open it up, and then click OK. And I now have a second Gold Star Invitation template based on the first one I created. I can click on Properties and I can rename that as Gold Star Invitation number two. Remember that as with email templates, working with your Word templates here can save you a lot of time and improve your communications with your customers. Bye for now.